Hello babes and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Halloween inspired haul. This time instead of costumes I'm going to show you a lot of Halloween inspired outfits both from Runway and Shein. Most of the things I picked are really Halloweenish, and I'm sure you will like them. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you the box here because it's really huge so you cannot really see the whole thing but this is filled with outfits so I'm going to start grabbing things now. The first thing I picked is from Romwe. I don't have any item names, so they just have numbers. So I will leave all the links in the description box together with sizes. I think I got everything in a size S because they don't really have a size XS, but I assume their sizes are a little bit smaller than other places. So this is the first item. I really really love it. I think I picked my favorite thing at the very beginning, but okay. It is a fleece um, hoodie. It looks really really comfortable, more like something to be at home, although you could perfectly wear this to go out, but for me it's gonna be more of a stay-at-home outfit. And let's try this on. Okay, this is a size S. It is a little big, but I assume this is something designed to be oversized. So it fits really nicely. It feels super comfortable. I love the fabric. I wasn't really sure what to expect because it's the first time I get stuff from Romwe, but I am so far really happy with this one. I don't want to ruin my wig, but I want to show you the hoodie. It's a little small. So yeah, probably because I'm wearing pigtails, but even if I wasn't, I feel like it's a little small, so not super comfortable to be worn with the hoodie. Other than that, I really love it. I love the design and all the details, and it also feels super comfortable and cozy. By the way, all the runway stuff is from their new Outspoor collection. It's inspired by e-girl styles, and they have like a darker version and a pink version of things. So I picked a little bit of both, but mostly black stuff because, you know. Anyway, let's grab something else. Um, let's see what this is. I still haven't opened anything, so I really don't know how everything's gonna fit, but I hope it fits right. So here we have a leather skirt. It is again a size S. I believe everything is a size S, so I think it's gonna fit right. But I'm gonna grab a top as well so I can show you a full outfit. This I assume is a top and let's open this. It is like one of those bra tops and I really like it. It's made of satin and lace. It has this lace up detail here on the front but I'm gonna try both things on and I'll be right back. This is how both things look like on. Again they are both a size S. I really like the top. It's pretty much my style and it's a tiny bit big so i have to wear it with a bra underneath even though it has wires i usually wear an excess for tops and the skirt is just it's okay for bottoms i use an s or an excess depending on the place and this one is nice because it is not stretchy so if it was any tighter i think it would be uncomfortable when you eat and all that it closes with a zipper here and other than that it is as i said not stretchy I think it's quite long compared to what I usually wear, but definitely more wearable and more appropriate if you want to wear this to school. Not the top, but probably the skirt. Even though I personally prefer shorter ones, especially for photos and videos, I think this is a lot more wearable. And I think it's pretty nice. The fit is nice. The fabric is a little on the thinner side. But this is of course a lot cheaper than most of the things I usually wear. I think the quality is quite okay for the price. I feel like the skirt needs a little ironing, but I'm not sure how iron friendly this material is because it's more like plastic. So I'll try to fix it. For this outfit I also got a matching jacket, but I also got it for something else. And this is it. I haven't tried it on because I felt like it was so well packaged that I wanted to show you first. I was also sure I wasn't going to be able to put back all that paper in place. So I really hope it fits me. 
here it is I really like it it's like a super oversized leather jacket faux leather of course and it's also really really long so it's more like a coat so it's something I didn't have again the material is on the thinner side so this is more like a jacket for autumn and not for winter or for winter if you live in a very hot place like I do I really love how this looks like on it gives me an 80s kind of vibe and I am living for it I got this one for this outfit to match this skirt but I also got it for a custom idea I have for this year I'm not sure I won't be able to do it because I have a lot of ideas and not so much time but I think wet dress, blonde hair, leather jacket, I hope you know what I'm talking about. Next thing I got is from Shein and I can't wait to open it because this is one of the things I was the most excited about. I really hope this fits me right because I've always wanted to have this. This is the top. And these are the bottoms. This feels amazing i really like the fabric it's super soft and comfortable and i think the fit is pretty nice the pants are a little baggy but i feel like that's more comfortable because these are pajamas so really no complaints regarding the fit or the material i wasn't sure what to expect because it's the first time that i order stuff from shein by the way I bought this myself and I'm actually super happy with uh, this one. The front part has a skeleton print, but the back is just black. Same with the pants. The material is slightly stretchy and it is a very soft. It's kind of cotton-like material, so really, really comfortable. I finally have no pajamas because all my old ones were totally decayed. It is super hard to find black ones, especially if you don't want something that's satin and super sexy so I always use Halloween to get pajamas and stuff like that because it's easier to find black ones I also got another pajama set from Shein this one has three pieces so it comes with shorts um, crop top and long pajama pants I actually bought the whole set because of the pajama pants because I really really needed new ones these are not really black they're like um, dark gray but I still like them a lot more than most of the options that are usually available and they looked super thin on the photos they are super thin and it was actually what I was looking for because as much as I like this this is still too much for the weather here so I think I'm gonna use this once now and now then during winter I will use this one now I'm wearing the top and the shorts this is thinner than the other one the material is also a little bit more shiny so I think the other one is more of a cotton blend and this one is more polyester actually the reason why I wanted to get pajamas from Shein is because I expected them to be on the thinner side and I was right, but that was actually what I was looking for. The shorts and the long pants are the same fabric. So yeah, they're on the thinner side, probably for a weather like this here in Spain. I think it fits really, really nicely. I wasn't sure what size I should get. This is size S, I believe. And it fits perfectly. I think the measurements for this one were wrong on the side because they look kind of off. But it fits pretty nice uh, for me. I wear an excess, so usually with Shein you should size up. I believe it was a size S, but I will check it and leave you all the info in the description box together with links and discount codes in case you want to get anything from them. It's a little bit more colorful and bright than what I usually wear and I'm used to, but I thought it was one of the very few options that I liked. It's really hard to buy for pajamas if you want something plain and simple and black so this was the next best option for the next outfit I went a little bit out of my comfort zone and I got something pink this is more from the Light Academia I think that's what they call them lookbook so I hope I don't feel too weird with so many bright clothes this is again from Romwe and this is a crop top black and pink I really like the design and the fabric it is very very stretchy and I feel like it's gonna fit me just right and for bottoms I picked a pair of pants these are also black and pink and 
they have skulls here and this kind of dripping pattern on the other part and they are mostly pink. I really really love this top, it fits perfectly, it has a very very nice cut. I feel like even if it's a size S, it's perfect for me. I usually wear an XS for tops so you should probably size up for this one. I love the design but the truth is I only wear colorful things for videos and photos because when I go out I only wear black. But I really really like it and I will make an effort to wear something like this to go out because you know, all my clothes look the same. The pants also fit me just right. Don't know how to describe this cut. They're like really really baggy and this part ends like really low. So this feels a little bit odd for me but actually looks really nice. Um, when I got this outfit I was afraid of the pink on the bottoms and the pink here wouldn't match but in real life it looks the same. So I'm really happy about it, even though the fabric is not the same, the color is almost exactly the same. It looks really really good together. Which was like my main concern because of those two pieces weren't displayed together in the lookbook photos. So I wasn't so sure they were going to look good together, but they actually do and I am so happy I have a full pink and black outfit. I hope you like the outfits so far, I know they're Halloween inspired and really seasonal but for me this is going to be something to wear all year round because I just like this but if you're looking for a spooky outfit because you don't want to wear a costume this year I think most of these um, are just perfect anyway I also got some accessories I have been looking for these gloves since forever and actually they were super affordable here so I will leave you the link in case you want them because I have seen them a lot more expensive on other places. I'm not really sure what to expect because you know when something's cheap sometimes it doesn't just fit right. Okay they fit really nicely. I was expecting them to look a lot worse to be honest. I really like them, they look exactly like on their photos so I'm pretty happy I decided to get them there because they were really really affordable. Again I will look for the links and leave them all in the description box in case you want to get them. Let's move on to the next thing because I still have a ton of things to show you and I am afraid this video is going to be really long. So let's see what's inside this bag. Okay this is a dress, this is more like a regular goth dress so let's try this on. So now that I tried on the dress I can see that it's way too big for me. The straps here and here are adjustable but even then it's just way too big. Um, as you can see there's a lot of room in here for more and uh, same like it's not so big in here but still quite big. It just doesn't feel like it was made for my body type but maybe for someone with a different body type it will look better. <laughs> This one is also a little longer than what I usually wear, so I don't really feel super comfortable with this kind of length. I prefer maxi dresses or very short dresses because I'm very short. I am sure though that if you're taller it will look a lot better on you. Another accessory I got uh, from their Halloween section was um, this pair of tights, uh, their spiderweb tights. But before I try them on I want to show you another skirt that I got just so I put together a whole look. Um, I don't even remember how this one looked like. So this came in a Shein bag but it was from Romwe. Here in Spain both Romwe and Shein are the same thing. You can buy their stuff together from their from the same website. Oh, okay now I remember what it was. It was kind of a like those street style skirts with pockets and all that. The fabric again is not stretchy just like the dress that I'm wearing right now so kind of risky but let's hope for the best. I also got a top for this look. It is in this bag. It's a crop top. It's mesh and it comes with these sleeves. They're sewn together so you cannot wear it separately. Um, it feels really really soft so I'm gonna put all that on although I don't necessarily think it's gonna look good together and I will be right back. I'm back. I am not really sure if I put this on correctly but it feels kind of odd because this strap keeps falling so I'm not sure if it's because I put it the wrong way or because it's meant to be like this and I'm just too small for this 
and this is too big for me. It's probably it. These have some holes, if you know me, this is one of my favorite things. And they are attached to the top, so you cannot use the sleeves as gloves. Unfortunately, I, I'm not sure if I should just cut them, because then maybe these will fall. Although these have kind of a... have an elastic band here, so maybe they won't fall and I can wear them as gloves separately which is something I would really love. It is quite transparent, I know it's mesh, but some other mesh tops I have are not as transparent, so I would probably wear it with something else underneath. I think it would look better with something more, like the same shape as this, but just plain black underneath. It's really comfortable, other than for the strap that keeps falling, but that's probably because I'm very, very short. The skirt is pretty comfortable, the fabric is super super thin, it is not stretchy, so it's not really what I expected when I saw the photos. It's a different material from what you would expect from this kind of design. Anyway, I really love all the details it comes with, like this pocket here and the belt, because otherwise if I loosen this, this skirt is quite big for me. This is a size S, I believe, and I'm not sure if there was an excess available or not. Now for the tights, I really, really like them. Uh, the only problem I have with them is that here, they're super wide, and because the holes are so big, I have a similar pair, and same happens with it, so I assume it's because of the design. Anyway, they look really, really cute, and I think they are perfect for any kind of witchy costume for Halloween this year. I feel like the skirts and the dress I tried on weren't really made for my body type or my height, but I'm a huge fan of the Halloween items, especially everything with skeletons. So let's grab something else in that line. I got this skeleton hoodie. This is something I wanted to have since 2004 and I never had one, unfortunately, so I'm living my childhood dreams now. It's funny that other than a couple of Iron Fist t-shirts that I have, I didn't have any of these iconic skeleton things, and now I have like three or four things like that in this haul. So let's hope this one fits me right. Okay, so far it's kind of big, but... I guess it's meant to be like that, it's a size S and I feel like an XS would look better on me but I'm not sure if it was available. So this is what I got. I really really like the design and the print. The fabric is really really thin for a hoodie and it's almost not stretchy. It feels more like the fabric on some sports items. I'm not sure how to describe it because I don't know the word for that fabric in any language so I cannot look it up. Anyway, it's kind of more like, not silky, but not like cotton. I hope you can see the full thing now. I really love the sleeves and the design in general is just perfect. I wish it was a little bit smaller. The hoodie for this one fits a lot better than the one I tried on at the beginning of the video. It is a lot longer and bigger and it doesn't pull from here when I put this on, so great and I really really love this item. Uh, just as a reminder, this is a very very thin so probably more of an autumn kind of hoodie or even summer if you live in a very cold place and not something for winter unfortunately. I really don't want to take this off but I still have a few things to show you so unfortunately I will have to change eventually. But okay, here I have another pair of pants. I hope they fit just like the previous ones because those fit just right and they were very comfortable. Judging from the photos, they are the same cut, just a different design. These ones are all black and have these letters here. I'm not completely sure what they say, but I believe everything in this collection is at Los Angeles, so probably it's says that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, these are again like very thin but soft. I'm also gonna grab another top for the pants. I'm not totally sure that the outfits here are a perfect match. I actually picked the items that I really really liked instead of going for full outfits because I know I could combine this with things I already have. So here we have another t-shirt. It has a 
skeleton design in here and just wait for it. I can't believe I never used anything in this style because I think it looks just great with the hair and the makeup and all that. I actually decided to leave the skirt on because I saw it fit perfectly with this and the tights and the high heels. I think it's a whole look and I am living for it. I probably wouldn't like the things individually as much as I like them all together. I told you before that I wasn't so convinced about the skirt, but now that I saw it with this, I really, really like it. I have to pull the belt a lot for it to fit me, but with this on top, I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. I believe this would be a perfect outfit to go to class, probably not with high heels, but with any kind of flat shoe, it would look perfect because the skirt it's pretty pretty long, almost goes to my knee. So I feel like if you go to school, this would be a perfect outfit for that. Unlike my back to school haul that I did a couple of weeks ago, that is totally not school appropriate, unfortunately. Since I like the whole outfit together, I think I'm gonna leave the pants for the next one. Um, here we have a sweater. This one again has a skeleton print. So as I told you, I went from having just like two items, which were short sleeve teasers that I barely ever wear anymore because I don't have them here, to having a hundred skeleton print things. And I'm not complaining. So this is like a distressed sweater. It looks really nice actually. But let's see how it looks like on and we'll put on the pants now. I love it. Again, ribcage print. I really, really like it, but I hope you don't find it too repetitive. I was just living my childhood fantasies with this haul and doesn't it look amazing? Anyway, I really like the distress details here and here and here. The fabric feels really nice and soft because I'm not wearing anything underneath and it doesn't bother me. And it is quite thick, so this is good for winter. Now the weird thing is that it's black and white on the inside, so in some areas, especially here where the seams are, you can actually tell that there is something white underneath, but it's not something that would make me not buy this, so it's not really bothering me, but I feel like it's kind of weird. Anyway, I am also wearing the pants. Um, Here's the print that I assume says Los Angeles, but I'm not sure what it says, to be honest. And the fit is just like the pink ones, but these ones don't have pockets, and I don't remember if the other ones had pockets, actually, let me check. The pink ones have pockets, and these ones don't. I think they're really, really comfortable. I love the feel. They're really thin. It's something that I personally like a lot, but I know it's not for everyone, especially if you live in a colder place. And definitely not a match for the sweater because the sweater is really, really warm. I only have a couple of things left, but I was leaving one of the cutest things for the end. And I'm gonna open it because I sure you can't see anything. What do you think? It's a, like, a jacket but it has this kind of lilac and black bad print. I don't think it's as easy to find bad print things as it is to find skeleton things. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it because me and dad and look at my face. It's a perfect match. So let's put this on quickly because I know the sun is setting and it's gonna look really bad in here in a few minutes. This type of sweater or jacket or however you call this is like something my grandma would wear but the bad print gives it a, a totally different vibe and it is really cute. It's really, really comfortable. I love how it feels both on the inside and on the outside. It feels just the same on both sides. Really, really soft and warm. Of course, it's like super open here. You can only tie it in here, so it's of course meant to be worn with something underneath. Totally different from my usual style, but I think it looks kind of cute and as a color is just my favorite thing. I love lilac. I've had this hair color a few times. I'm not sure what I would wear this with, but I'll try to put together an outfit at some point for Instagram or TikTok. So you can see this with something that matches better than a pair of sweatpants. 
So if you're not following me there, my username is Vesmedinia everywhere. Thankfully, this is the last item because the light is really, really bad at the moment. So everything from now on is gonna look really bad. Sorry about that. But I really like this on the photo and I think it looks the same in real life. What do you think? I like it a lot. It's of course a much better match for the pants than what I wore before. So you have an outfit here, finally. It looks pretty nice again. The fabric is on the thinner side. It's more like a t-shirt kind of fabric, more than a hoodie. So bear that in mind if you live in a very cold area, it's not gonna be for you or it's gonna be for summer. The design is pretty cute. I really like the skeleton and all that. The print is really big. It's kind of not super soft. So I'm not sure if it's the kind of print that will fade super fast. So even if most of these things were gifted, I bought some of them, but most of them were gifted. I feel like I should tell you that the quality and the fabrics are not as good as some other things I get, but there's a huge price difference. If you just want to wear this a couple times for Halloween, October, and you know, it's not going to be your everyday hoodie, then I think something like this can be a much better option. Now this one doesn't have pockets, so kind of bummed about it because the pants don't have pockets either, so I was planning to wear this together. It is quite comfortable, although it isn't as soft as some of the other things I tried on today. But if I went back in time, I'd probably get it again because I really like the design and to be honest, considering the price, I was expecting something much worse and I am actually really happy. So that was everything for today. I really hope you liked the selection of Halloween inspired outfits that I picked for today. I am totally living my 2004 fashion fantasies because, you know, those things were really hard to get back in the day and I am really in love with every piece. I I'm a lot more into the pants and the, you know, the hoodies and all that than the dresses and skirts that I got. At the end, I felt like one of the skirts really went well together with one of the tops, but overall, if I had to buy this all again or pick this all again because some of the stuff was gifted, I'd probably stick to the pajamas and, you know, more of the casual stuff because I wasn't really into the dress but the tops and some of the jackets were amazing and also the pajamas, I'm in love with them and I'm probably going to wear them today because I was waiting for this haul to be able to use them I wanted to show you the unboxing and everything Thank you so, so much for watching if you made it this far Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video Bye!